Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Fuck Balladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a Patreon match between Gumio and Serral from ESL Summers Masters for 2023. For those of you who support me on Patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for at least $1 a month, you get to see this one month before anybody else on the YouTube channel. I really, really, really do appreciate ya. So if you're watching this, the week of September 1st, 2023, again, I really, really do appreciate your love. I feel it and I love you back. And if you're watching this on the YouTube channel, sometime after September 2023, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I'm here five or six times a week with StarCraft 2 content. Top right, it's going to be Gumio. And in the bottom left, it's going to be Serral. Now, Gumio is a weird player to play against because he's very excellent playing the standard bio strategy against Zerg, but also... He is very excellent playing the mech style against Zerg as well, and sometimes it's a combination of both. So, Serral, you'll have to scout very, very well to determine where Gumio is going today. And that makes him exciting, right? So, let's see, it looks like, uh, there we go. Barracks. Let's see if it's a Reaper expand timing here. And Extractor Pool is down, well, not down, but growing for Serral. And yeah, there's that gas. Okay, so it's going to be a Reaper expand timing here from Gumio. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Overlord's checking for proxies, only finding a Tastelope. Named after a Tasteless. There's an Artosalope around here as well. We'll see if we can find him here on Ancient Cistern. Yep. Gas, gas gathering. And 50 gas. Bam, look at that timing, Gumio. <laughs> oh, is your timing this good, Terran players? Let me know if it is in the comments. I read every single comment anybody ever makes on any of my videos. And is this gonna be a third base? Yes, okay, so third base, sub 220. Bam. Oh, not sub-220 because... Okay, so we did get speed. Sometimes players delay speed so I can get the third base as early as possible, but this is just a standard third base timing in this matchup. All right. No problem. Factory on the way. Oh, factory early. So this Reaper's name, submitted by JJ Chilson, is Fozzie Bear. Oh, waka waka. That's right, Fozzie Bear. One of the Muppets. One of the original Muppets, I think, right? There's like an original core of Muppets from the back times. I don't know. Are there any original Muppets? There's Kermit, who, like, back in the day, back in the black and white times, did ads for Wilkins Coffee, like in the 40s and 50s. Absolutely hilarious, insane, like, mentally unbalanced stuff. Wilkins Coffee ads. So the basic premise of Wilkins Coffee ads are the Kermit puppet is like, hey, what's up, other puppet? You should try Wilkins Coffee. And the other puppet who... I don't know, kind of looks like... What does he look like? I don't know if there's a... There's an analog to current Muppet stuff, but he goes, No, I hate Wilkins. I, I never I never drink the stuff. And then he dies. Like, either Kermit pulls out a gun and just shoots him in the face and he dies, or he gets eaten by a shark, or he gets knocked out of an airplane, or a tree branch falls on his head. But it is the, like... Uh, I don't know. It's like Gen Z humor... But from the 40s and 50s, it's crazy cool. Let me know. Remind me. I'll put a link to it in the comments. You can watch them. They're all over YouTube. I mean, not all over YouTube. There's just a bunch of channels that have them. Because, again, they're hilarious. And it's just, like, that's the whole commercial. That oof, The specific one that I just think stands out the most as this overlord gets killed. Nice snipe there by Gumio. Is the one where he's like, hey, stranger, you should drink Wilkins coffee. And oh, no, I hate Wilkins coffee. No. And then Kermit pulls out a gun and shoots him and he dies. And then he makes some pun about drinking Wilkins coffee. It's nuts. And it, like, I love it so much. I Like, if Wilkins coffee was around today, I would buy it, even though I don't drink coffee. Like, <laughs> that's how much I respect them for putting these ads out. Anyway, um, meta, sh meta, meta, meta ship, medevac heading out with a bunch of marines here. Four and a half minutes. This is a standard, one of the standard timings here for some kind of an attack. Serral should be ready for it. He's got a bailing nest just now starting. It's got queens in position. Oh, we're unloading off creep. Okay, so we're going to harass the creep with marines today. 
Yeah, getting stim, getting plus one attack, not really going to be a mech thing. It could be a mech transition out of Gumio later on in this game. But man, we're dealing with Serral. He's so scary. Isn't he scary? I think he's scary. And I'm a Zerg player. Yo, Baneling Nest, what'd I say? Baneling Nest on the way, tank coming in, stim plus one. Mm, yeah, this group of Ling's trying to deal with these Marines. Not enough of you boys. No upgrades on you either. You had an armor upgrade or like a plus one attack upgrade. Maybe you could have handled that, but mm, not zero, zero. Not when they have stim, goodness no. Ah, oh, it's another dead overlord. Okay, Gumio. He is winning today. It is 450 resources lost for Cero and zero for Gumio. First five and a half minutes. It's been a pretty good opening here, but... Have you killed any bases? Have you killed any drones? None of those things? Mm -hmm. That's not as good, Gumio. You gotta start harassing, man. There needs to be some kind of an attack sometime in the next two minutes. That forces Serral on his back foot. Maybe you can kill a base. That'd be super cool, because his fourth base is coming in now, by the way. Uh, where's your third? There's no super fast third? Oh, boy. Oh, no, here it is. Okay. Not super fast, but it's not crazy late either, as it's, you know, anything past six or seven minutes would be crazy late on that third. Creep spread pushing. Looking great. Not so much over here, but the Queens are defending the Creep Tumors to the left side as well. Yeah, Marines and Tanks coming in. Yeah, six minutes. We go. We go. Plus one timing attack. Stim's already been researched. Pushing that Creep back so that you can more easily set up a tank to threaten... Well, there's not a base there. Uh, set a tank up down here, maybe? Maybe try to push these two bases simultaneously? Oh, no, hurting right. Kind of heading right. These lings are like, hey, you don't want to move out. I'm going to ling run by into your base and kill all your stuff. Gumio's like, hey, no. No, you're not allowed. Serral heading down the right side. Okay, tank hot. Interesting position for that tank. There's not a base to kill here. I guess the tank sort of covers this ramp a little bit. Yeah, all right. You get some free tank shots on half of this ramp. That's nice. Oh, this base is in trouble. Where's the army's not in position to stop? Oh, man. Just a tiny bit out of position, but Lings and Banes on Creeper pretty quick, is pretty fast, especially if the Banelings have speed. Queens are pretty fast, too. Cyril says, you know what? I'm. Do we want to get a surround on this army, or do we want to go counterattack with these guys? And I think Cyril wants to get a surround. As soon as there's a commitment here, he's going to come down from the backside and wipe this out. Ready? Uh, by that I mean he's going the other way. All right. Well, the Marines are here Getting some big time shots off and Cyril says, okay, well How about we just baneling bust your front here at seven minutes? Good chow, good chow, good chow, good chow All these SCVs are in trouble. Gumio can't get any pressure over there either. Yeah, this is bad news Siege tank firing on banelings is really good. Oh saving a lot of those SCVs lives 18 kills on that fool also covering the third base but, no, he does end up... Okay, we gotta see that. Where... What happened? There, you're right over here. He heads up the wrong way. And then Gumio jumps on it and kills it. Serral, did he get tricked? Why did he pull his army out of position there? Maybe he was worried about... Maybe he thought he could win the game on the other side. Nice failing connections there, though. Oh, gosh. Siege tank, no more. Oh, no, just kidding. He's down here. He's got 15 kills, too. It takes a while for Queens to kill a tank, I tell you what. But they get him eventually. Baneling's sort of connecting a little bit there. Decent connections, not insanely good ones, but pretty good. And Serral's got to, he's got to rebuild his fourth base on the left side, which he's already done. It's a three-basing Terran. Both players have lost some workers here. No, no drones have died from Serral. Six SCVs have gone down from Gumio. Yeah, the Marines are like, we can handle Lings and Queens, but these Banelings are what's a big-time problem for us. Liberator is getting added to the comp here from Gumio. Working on plus two, plus two is Serral. Two, two is good upgrade to have, but three, three with the Adrenal is the way to be. High ground, but getting a surround, and then the Banelings rolling in. Oh, man, that tank is going to die. Ah, tank dead. These tanks aren't sieged up. They're not as good against Banelings anymore. I don't know. Some decent trades here. Serral's lost about twice as many resources as Gumio has right now. So he's making some good trades. But again, until you start killing bases and drones, I guess he did kill this one. But Serral had a new fourth base up anyway. So 
Does it really matter? Yeah, Gumio just straight up into this marine tank stuff. Again, having to evac from this... Just kill the... Take the base! He's letting you have it. Kill it. That's amazing. Ling's still trying to shark around. They did force the SCVs to... Where did this tank go? This tank that was covering the third base so beautifully is gone. I don't... I have no idea what killed that. Honestly, I don't. Maybe some Ling's got up there and sniped him. He was alone. If you can get up there, he'll definitely die. Serral, new fourth base. Ding! New base. Who dis? Is what he says. This group is like, we gotta defend the third. If we lose the third, it's all over. Oh, man. Still a lot of ailings here, but they are off creep. They're more manageable off creep. You can snipe them down more easily because they're not coming at you as fast. The proposed balance patch is they're looking at uh, getting rid of the health boost to banelings when they get centrifugal hooks. I'm not sure how many people are even aware of that. When you get centrifugal hooks, it makes the banelings faster, but also gives them like an extra 5 or 10 HP. Maybe it's just 5. I think it's just 5. Uh, okay, well, uh, sure. Ling just roll right into your front door. Target. Nice target fire on those banes. That was great. Gumio could maybe honestly march in here and he'd be okay. Why are these guys leaving? Serral immediately splits off some of the banelings to deal with this. Brilliant. Like, truly brilliant stuff here from Serral. Where is his hive? Where is his adrenal? Th plus three attack is now getting started from Gumio for his marines. Siege tanks, low ground, covering, fire. This is good. This is very, very good. Baneling Nest Snipe. Wow, that went down super fast. On the other side, though, Serral's like, you are remaining entirely open to this kind of Ling Bane run by stuff. You're aware of that, right? Gumio's like, yeah, but shut up. On the other side, Gumio. Ah, oh, he could be handled. He could be handled. Uh, no. The Banelings are like, we don't quite want to kill you. We're just. Okay, fine. We will, they said. Why not? 34 SCVs have died. Man, I haven't seen this effective Ling Bane run by in some time. This is impressive stuff out of Serral. Losing that front wall, not really having the cash to rebuild it. Yeah, this is problematic. It's 64 to 27 workers. Gumio is not able to get in here and start pressuring these bases at all. Where are these medevacs? Is that a fake drop? Did he send a fake drop down there to move the army and now he's going to come join up with the rest of the band? Or was there actually... I don't think there was a drop down here. Nothing's injured. Like, that hatchery has no damage to it. None of these drones are injured either. Oh my gosh, more lings. Every SCV that dies right now. Big problem. Oh, finally getting a couple... Like, a drone kill. Look at that. Three drones killed. All right. Yeah, I think Gumio is just dead. I mean, look, technically, as I always say, Terran isn't dead until they're dead, but boy, are they down big time. Gumio is down 144 to 116 supply. Marines in the hands of a master. Pretty good. This siege tank, man, 40 kills siege tank. No way, Gumio. No way, Gumio. Reinforcing dudes wiped out. This tank is going to die. Unless these Marines pull back to save it. But pulling back leaves you open to other... St yeah, okay. Yep, got to pick up, boost out. He's got it. All right, he's going to take down another hatch. No, he's not. Too many Lings and Banelings showing up. Shut that down. Unloading here is a really bad idea. Don't... Okay, well, we're going to unload here, guys. Still, it's still only 2-2 two, two Lings and Banes, and 3-3 three, three is now done for Gumio. If Gumio is able to pull back in this game, I'm going to ascribe a lot of that to upgrades. Sucking all the transfuse energy off those queens that are not as effective in future engagements. Gumio's back to the natural base, though. This is amazing stutter step play here. Yeah, 3-3 three, three Marines versus 2-2 two, two Lings without Adrenal are going to do pretty well. The Banelings remain a problem. Gumio's dropping everywhere. Like an absolute madman dropping inside the main base. Banelings are like, oh, we thought you were going to go down here. No, psych. 
Not at all. Dude, Gumio is sort of kind of pulling even right now. This is insane. Target fire the Baneling. Target fire the Baneling. You can stay there. Guess who's counterattacking with two two lings? That's right, Serral is. But we're at 14 minutes, and these lings are still 2-2? Two, two? Mm, it's just Serral's income is enough. It's enough to win this with 2-2 two, two lings. It's crazy. Yeah, he just, his economic advantage, the wins he's gotten with the ling run buys have been immense enough that he doesn't even need Hive Tech to win this game. He doesn't need Vipers. He doesn't need Hydras or Lurkers. I think that's it. Just two, two lings all up in your business. SCV count plummeting to below 10. These Marines are like, yeah, we're getting like, spawning pooled killed. Nice. I mean, that can get replaced as the Baneling Nest was. He's just, he's just everywhere. Both players are in multiple places at once right now, simultaneously defending and attacking. It's nuts. But I mean, I don't know. Gumio's army value is 46 to 29. The 3-3 three, three is super extra mega good here. I keep harping on that because it's true. Spawning pool means no more lings can be produced, and that's all Serral can do right now is make lings. He can't make queens without a spawning pool either. He doesn't have Hydra Tech. He doesn't have Aspire to make mutas or anything with. This is actually kind of crazy that Gumio might sort of kind of be able to do this. Like, I, I do no! <laughs> Gumio! What in the name of Fergus McDudson was that? What? This is it right here. It's 49 to 11 army supply. It's currently 33 three marines versus 12 lings with 2 2 and 6 banelings and a queen. It's still 40 workers, yeah, to 2. SCVs for Gumio. Two is getting an epic tag. I don't care. I The last time I saw a player win with two workers to 40 for the enemy is maybe never. This feels like a one in a million StarCraft 2 game from ESL Summer Masters. Holy crap. Yeah, and low tech here today too. It was literally Marines, tanks, and medevacs produced today. Okay, two Liberators. Fine, there were those. Against Ling Bane Queen. Ling Bane Queen. No Vipers. No Hydras. No Lurkers. Nothing. No Ultras. No Mutas. No Broodlords. Nothing at all. Just Ling Bane Queen. And he just got stuck on it too long. Serral did. Never even got a Queen's Nest to tech up. An Infestation Pit. To tech up to a Hive. That never happened. Yeah, I, this strategy is fine. Linkbane Hydra is fine against pure Marine Widowmine tank. Sorry, Medivac tank. Uh, I was going to say, without Widowmines, yeah, you're totally fine doing that. But you need to keep up in the upgrades. If the Terran player is at 3-3 and you're at 2-2, two, two, it's not going to fly, man. 2-2 two, two Lings without Adrenal are not super great against 3-3 three, three Marines. And Marauders and everything else. Did I miss something big? I mean... Hats off to Gumio for just being everywhere. Look at these low ground marines attacking Banelings high ground. He's got marines here fighting drones. This army doesn't die. Gumio multi-pronged attacks today were out of this world. And if you're going to beat somebody as good as Serral is, they'd better be out of this world. Look at it's this group. Yeah, yeah. Can't kill any... Okay, did these Marines survive? He can't kill any of the three groups of Marines that are causing him massive problems right now. This group that landed at the third base doesn't die when he tries to kill it. Did these guys stay alive with medevac support in 3-3? Three, three? Dude, look at this guy go. He's John Rambo down here. Look at him go. Yeah, so he couldn't kill this group. He couldn't kill this guy. This guy, John Rambo, with eight kills. He couldn't kill this group. Absolutely crazy. The spawning pool snipe was the big winner, too. Because, look, Cyril has enough money. If he had 1,900 minerals and 1,300 gas worth of Queenslings and Banes, he's still in this game. 
But look, the spawning pool's not done yet. The replacement's not done yet. The production tab is empty because literally he can't build anything unless he has a spawning pool. This was a crazy game. I don't think I've ever seen a TBZ like this before at the highest level. Uh, look at this, Gumio. Barely on three bases at 16 minutes. No workers at the third. No workers in the main. Un SCV in or the natural in the main. There's un SCV. There are mules, which is awesome. But this kind of an income tab over the last 10 minutes should never translate into a Terran win. It came down to Serral's lack of upgrades, no Adrenal, no 3-3, and his spawning pool getting sniped. That's it. I mean, and Gumio dropping everywhere and being at three or four places at the same time. Yes. He did kill two hatcheries. Resources lost are 29,000 and 20,000 in favor of Gumio. But with all the damage Gumio took on the other side, uh, it's crazy. He lost 67 SCVs today. Had two when GG was called, and he tapped. <sighs> crazy. Crazy, 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 excellent, excellent, epic level game. Epic. All right, so that's a GG. I'm... Utterly impressed by Gumio that he managed to squeak out a win here when I did not think it was remotely possible. But it was. That's why we watched the games. All right, good. So that's going to be it for me today. This is Ben, Falco Paladin, coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void in a Patreon epic cast. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.